Okay, let's move on to the second calculation Chris was asking about. I have to re-record this part because the camera cut out. Um, so, the question is, uh, if you're setting up a sine bar, uh, which is a fixed bar of a certain length, uh, and you want it to make a certain angle with the horizontal, what you want to know is how long you want to make the side across from the angle. Uh, so here in this problem I have a 5 inch bar, which I think is what he's using in his video. Uh, you've got a 27 degree angle, uh, how long should you make this side? Um, or, I guess you want the 27 degree angle. On the other hand, uh, I'm not sure if this is useful, but uh, you could ask the question in reverse. So you have a 7 inch bar, uh, you've got a 3.8 inch height here, then what angle is that making? Let's solve both of those. Now in this slide roll, the scale for doing that is on the back. It's called S for sine. The easiest way to use it is by flipping it over, although you can use it slightly differently by using those rear hairlines. Okay, S scale should be used with the A scale, so I'm going to use the top two scales just like I was using, but now we have this S scale which is marked out in degrees. Uh, this one is marked out once you get down to less than a degree, uh, degree in uh, minutes. So you see if you look here between uh, say 3 degrees and 4 degrees, you've got 3 degrees, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, and then 60 minutes or 4 degrees. Um, some slide rolls have a S scale marked uh, in decimal degrees, so you'd have like 3.1, 3.2, 3.4, and so on. Um, and some slide rolls have an S scale, which should be used with the D scale instead. When you have that, um, it gives you a little bit more precision, uh, because the D scale is longer. Um, okay, but a lot of simple slide rolls, uh, this one, the K and E, have a setup like this. Uh, so let's use this. Uh, the trick is, when you're solving a right triangle with the S scale, uh, you always set the hypotenuse, um, at the end of the S scale. So here we have hypotenuse 5. Let's use this 5 at the end here. I'm going to use this 5 at the right uh, because if I use this 5 here then the slide roll is kind of sticking out the side and uh, I'm more likely to go off the slide roll with my calculation. Um, okay, so let's use that 5. Uh, so then all I need to do here is go to the 27 on the S scale. So there's 25 degrees, 26 degrees, 27 degrees. Okay, if you set hypotenuse here, when you go out to the other angle, um, the length of that other side you're looking for just reads on A. So here on A I have 20, uh, sorry, 2, 2.1, 2 2.2, 2. looks like about 2, uh, 2, 2, 7. Okay, uh, if you had a 25, uh, let's say, if you had a 15 degree angle, let's say, then here you would have a 1.8. 1, 1 1.2, let's see about 1.29 inch, do you see? You just set a different angle, uh, and then A reads that side over here. Uh, you could leave this uh, 5 inch side fixed. Okay, let's solve the second problem. Second problem involves us changing the hypotenuse length. Okay, when you change hypotenuse, you got to change the slide. Okay, so now I've set hypotenuse to 7. Okay, so now the question is if I come to 3.8, so here, 3, 3.5, 3.6, 3.7, 3.8 on A. Oh, then I should just read angle down here on S. So it looks like 30, 31, 32. It's a little bit less than 33. Let's mark it at 32 degrees, 55 minutes, approximately. Okay, uh, so that's how you use the S scale to solve triangles like this. Um, and how you use A and B to solve proportions. Hope this video was helpful. Uh, Chris, why don't you uh, put on a comment and see if uh, it's the kind of calculation you could use. Um, everyone, have a good night.